In Campbell County today, hundreds of people gathered to pay respect to a very well-accomplished man. La Follette native four-star general Carl Steiner was laid to rest today. We told you when he passed away last week. And Six on Your Side reporter Wes Cooper shows us the tributes of his memorial ceremonies today. No shortage of soldiers and loved ones Saturday in La Follette. Many are remembering General Carl Steiner, a man who dedicated his life to service and family. Words can't express the honor, the legacy, uh, and just the man that we're honoring today and what he did for our great country should never be forgotten. An impact that we still feel today. Richard Clark is a four-star general just like Steiner and serves as the 12th commander of United States Special Operations Command. General Steiner served as the second commander and paved the way for people like General Clark. He's 30 years my senior. I was a young Captain Clark uh, when he was General Steiner. And, it's, and what I recall uh, and is part of his legacy is that he was always training and teaching uh, and he was very humble. General Steiner's humility began in La Follette. He grew up on a farm. Always understanding the valuable role of hard work and education. But Steiner wanted to make a mark on the world. In 1989, while serving as the 18th Airborne Corps Commander, General Steiner led the successful U.S. invasion of Panama and the subsequent capture of the dictator, Manuel Noriega. That operation, Just Cause, required incredible precision with 27 different targets. But what I recall is it required immense preparation. The former general oversaw all special operation activities during Desert Storm. He was also involved in capturing the terrorists who hijacked the Achille Loro in 1985. But after 35 years with the Army, Steiner wanted to go back to his roots. This is what General Steiner said about coming home. I always enjoyed what I was doing, and I took a lot of satisfaction from it. And this has stayed with me. I left home just after college, spent most of my life away. But I had to go home and make whatever contribution I could for what my community had given me in my younger days. I cannot fit all of Steiner's life accomplishments in this story, but we have more on WATE.com. And one thing is for certain, he's already down in the history books. In the fall at Wes Cooper, WAT6 on your side. Wes, thank you. And General Steiner was 85 years old. He is survived by his daughters, several grandkids, and his wife, Sue. They were married for 62 years.